bank mystery. A Pasadena man's safe deposit box disappears along with all his jewelry and family heirlooms. On your side, Christine Lazar joins us now with what the bank is saying. Christine. You know, I don't, I think it's generational too. Like my parents had a safe deposit box. My grandparents had a yeah, safe deposit box. My mom box. still has one. But a lot of banks are now phasing them out. Ooh. Not having them as much. But this family did have one and now, you know, they're like, where's our box? <laughs> Chase says it has no idea how this happened or where the box went, but that it's working with the customer to identify the missing inventory in his box. But he says most of those items cannot be replaced. Soon after Kevin Wang and his wife welcomed their first child, he went to his bank to put some of the gifts they received from family into their safe deposit box. I do have family members in Asia. Um, and the way they, you know, like kind of more of a tradition family that they give us uh, precious metal, so gold, silver. The box only opens with two keys, one that he has and the other that the branch manager keeps. Then the first question that she asked me was, where's the box? And then initially I thought, I totally thought she was joking um, until I saw how far her arm was going in. The box was missing along with all of its contents, including family heirlooms dating back to his great grandparents. There were items that were gifted to me when I was born. Those are the only things that I really have from you know that generation of my family. Wang filed a police report and a complaint with Chase Bank. The bank responded with this letter saying it did not find evidence that the safe deposit box was improperly opened or its contents removed. The bank went on to confirm what Wang already knew the box could only be opened with the two keys or if the lock was drilled, which it was not. It's really just mind boggling how something like this could happen. The opportunity of a box going missing in that situation are very rare. David McGuinn is a safe deposit box expert. In the 50 years I've been in this business, I've heard of it happening one other time. McGuinn says a safe deposit box is still one of the safest places you can keep your valuables, but consumers shouldn't just lock it and leave it. He recommends having a good insurance policy, either through your homeowner's insurance there's another company out there that uh, specifically writes insurance on nothing but safe deposit box contents. And you don't have to disclose what's in there. Otherwise, the bank doesn't insure it. FDIC doesn't insure it. NCUA doesn't insure it for credit unions. There is no insurance on contents in a safe deposit box other than what the consumer puts on it. And Chase is actually in the process of phasing out its safe deposit box service, calling it a business decision. Existing customers who have a box can keep them, but they aren't offering them to new customers. Mm -hmm. And this customer, the man who lost, uh, you know, the safe deposit box, he's trying to find some receipts, trying to find some photos. Right. But when you have family heirlooms, no. yeah. you know, you just don't have the chance to no. do that. So it's a really good point, you know, that you should get, if you have valuables in there, if it's not just like papers or things you don't want to lose, you want to have that box insured. And there are companies out there, you don't even have to tell them what's in it, you just insure it for a certain amount. Oh, that's smart. And yeah, you understand why people still want them though. I mean, we just reported on a home invasion right. today where people yeah. got away with And they're mistake. still the safest, I mean, the, the expert I talked to said it's still the safest place to put your belongings. Better than a home safe, obviously better than just storing it in a drawer right. in your house. House. Which is what I but if it's something time. that you feel like is a lot of money or something that would be tough to replace, it is important to get that insurance policy. You can do it either with your homeowner's insurance or get a separate policy. Yeah. All right. Christine, thank, thank you. you.